This is not normal. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at tech stocks. Um, and specifically, we're going to look at um, subscription-based uh, companies or model. So if you have noticed what's going on, uh, every company, I mean, pretty much every business has been feeling the impact of the COVID-19, um, you know, from airlines to, to entertainment to just pretty much name it. Every industry, restaurants, everything has been really impacted. Uh, but there's one group of companies that are really doing just fine. Um, if you look at it uh, uh, critically, a group of tech stocks are doing wonderful. So I'm talking about subscription-based companies again. Um, before we jump into the details and uh, just kind of share some of the companies that I'm talking about here, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, and how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that really interests you, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So let's jump and take a look at some of these companies. And again, um, the way I see it, it's, uh, it's kind of like an inverse. Um, you look at, hey, the economy is down, people are struggling, businesses are struggling, yet these companies are thriving, which is not supposed to be normal. Um, you, normally, when something like this happens, the economy crashes, everything crashes, but these stocks are instead doing great. So the question is, why? Uh, and again, we'll break that down. So with the, the outbreak of the COVID-19 and the lockdown, people were trapped inside. They, you are not allowed to go outside, just go for a walk, play or whatever. If you are thinking about how to survive this, what do you do? You want to keep your sanity. So people jump into subscription base. People started going back and looking at their old um, TV shows and start watching, binge watching a lot of TVs. So you see where I'm going with this. So companies like Netflix didn't really, they don't feel the impact as much as other tech companies because of the subscription. As a matter of fact, Netflix has reported an increase of about 15 million subscribers during this period. Uh, Disney Plus, on the other hand, has actually increased their subscribers to about 20. They have over 22 million subscribers just within the outbreak of the COVID-19, which is excellent for business. So if you look at uh, companies like Apple reporting uh, record number of subscribers, Microsoft uh, reporting that the Office 360 um, subscription base has actually uh, spiked just during the, the outbreak of the COVID-19. So um, uh, Instant Cart, the same thing, because all of this is um, subscription-based business where people just want to, you know, you're able to keep life moving forward, trapped inside, but yet you still get some of the services that you want. So uh, Spotify to Pandora, all of those have seen a spike in your subscriber base. So um, this is great for these businesses now. So if you're investing in these companies uh, in, the, in this short amount of time, it's good. Long term, I don't know the viability of these companies. I'm not sure if they can maintain that same base. I, I, again, companies like Amazon and Apple and Microsoft are going to be around. Those are just, that's a given. But uh, a company like Instant Cart that is really profiting from this right now, those are going to suffer. Uh, food delivery companies um, from DoorDash to uh, name it, they would suffer once we go back to living life as normal. So um, again, like I said, this is kind of like an inverse. So my question is, do you think that these companies are going to crash when the economy gets back? Uh, because right now they're thriving while we're locked inside. When we go outside, is, are these companies going to crash? And if yes, uh, when do you think would be a good time to pull out all your investment out of this company? So um, that's what I wanted to bring. I just want to bring this to you guys, talk about subscription base and what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comment section, which of these companies are you investing in because they're doing great? And do you plan on holding them long term, even after the, uh, the vaccine or even after the lockdown is over? Let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them. Again, in the comment section, that's where we have our conversations. Like, share, subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching haven't already subscribed to the channel. So definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, stay motivated. <music>